My name is Bill Gladstone. I am the principal with the Bill Gladstone Group of NAICIR. And welcome to this edition of The Last 90 Days as we feature to my immediate right Phil Garnaschelli, COO of the Harrisburg based Pinnacle Health System, and to his immediate right, COO of Kinsley Properties in New York, Pennsylvania. And today we'll be discussing the state of medical office space in the first quarter of 2012 and in general. And, gentlemen, welcome to the show. Thanks for having us, Bill. You know, I've done deals with these two gentlemen over the past couple of years, and even longer than that perhaps, and I can't think of two people better qualified to answer the questions than we have here today that will be asked on this show. So today as we start our conversation with these two gentlemen, uh, understand that there's a, um, there, there's a um, positive mood toward medical office bill to suits in the market. It's, a, it's not booming, but it's moving along nicely. But a lot of that has to be balanced with the fact that as, for example, Phil starts to look for uh, buying medical practices and perhaps also relocating or locating new services into the communities, he's forced with the fact that he has to be able to balance that against the bottom line, which is scrutinized very heavily at all levels. Tim, on the other hand, if he wants to be part of that process, he also has to be sure that Phil's bottom line stays where it's supposed to be as it's being scrutinized. How about if we start with Phil, and let's try a question, Phil, regarding bill to suits in general. It used to be that when Pinnacle Health Systems would have a need for a bill to suit to locate in a community that they would serve, they would go out, they'd find a developer, the developer would then, with instructions from Pinnacle, would then go out, find a piece of land, an existing building, and do a bill to suit for Pinnacle after a lease had been signed at a rate that was agreed upon by both parties. However, in recent years, it seems like Pinnacle has uh, gone away from that practice where Pinnacle actually has gone out and put the land under agreement themselves, has then gone and uh, de uh, chosen a developer from a pool of developers, and then has gone the route from there forward. Why did Pinnacle make that switch, and has that switch provided the uh, goals or achieved the goals that you had set out in the first place? Well, you know, healthcare is becoming so complex, and you know, at the end of the day, you know, we used to do what you said where we, we get a location in mind and we'd ask uh, the real estate community to go out and look for that uh, piece of property for us. And today there's so many constituents we have, you know, they're, they're not any more single purpose buildings. I mean, they're cardiologists rotating through, there's primary care doctors in the buildings, there's imaging in the buildings, and there's so many, such a broad constituent of people that are interested, and not one site works for each of them. So we, we used to get the real estate community very, I think, frustrated because they'd be running all over the place, mm -hmm. bringing options to us, and we'd be turning them down because of X, Y, or Z. So we decided we, we need to do that ourselves. We need to get that group of people in the room. We need to work with them and decide on aggregate what, where's the best location for Pinnacle. So we decided we'd go out, we'd find the locations, and then we'd flip them to a developer at a later date. It's just, uh, you know, again, such a difficult task for a um, real estate professional to try to be able to go out and find the right site. Uh, we just felt that you know, it's best in our hands to do that. Very good. And, and Tim, as a follow-up question to you perhaps, uh, does that impact the way that you would look at doing a build a suit for Pinnacle? No, it really doesn't. Uh, and uh, to, to build off of what Phil said, um, you, you know, I've been in the room before where there is all the different constituencies within the, within the health system with various uh, needs and and coming up with that compromise of the right site that, that fits all the needs that Phil described is a, sometimes a long process. And, and actually uh, uh, getting involved after many of those discussions have been had by the health system is a big benefit because the project can move forward uh, in a positive direction rather than uh, you know, someone coming in, in the game late who's going to be an occupant of the building and saying, whoa, whoa, you know, that doesn't really work for the things that, uh, that need to happen mm -hmm. here. And, you know, we find that the health systems are being much more strategic about uh, the facilities they're developing uh, to protect their markets and, and uh, to best satisfy uh, all the patients in the area 
in a convenient and efficient way. So it, it really does, uh, you know, it actually is probably a benefit that, that that upfront work is done by the health system. Very good. Thank you for your perspective on that. Well, gentlemen, thank you very much. It's been a pleasure talking with you and kind of reviewing the uh, state of medical office space for the first part of, for the first quarter of 2012 and also in general. And to the viewing audience at home, thank you.